Hello everyone, Wumpus Gaming here, back today with more of our Millennial Run. The one where I'm pretty sure we're not going to win, but we're going to keep playing, and if we manage to turn this around, then hooray. Uh, otherwise, I'm having a pretty good day so far. I've been playing a lot of No Man's Sky lately. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of it. I'm sure you have by this point. You know, it kind of had a flop in 2016. And then it, like, turned itself around, and it's released dozens of free updates that are all significantly better than the last one. Uh, the most recent has been the Orbital update. Uh, and I will admit, pre-Orbital update, I had only put about five hours into No Man's Sky. Uh, since then I've put over 30 hours into it, and I have to say... It continues to make me go, yeah, why did I not just play this, you know? Why did I go and play Starfield? I should have just gone and played No Man's Sky. And I would suggest uh, any of you who may or may not happen to have it, go uh, go pick it up. It's uh, on sale to the, to I believe the 8th of, what is this month? April. To the 8th of April uh, for 30 bucks, which is $20 off. It's a really good price, and I honestly feel like you're pirating the game at $25, at $30. Like, that game should be worth way more than it is. Um, I'm, I'm not saying they should increase the price. In no way they should. Uh, never do that, please. <laughs> I want more people to play No Man's Sky, because it's fantastic. Uh, an engineer. Yeah, ooh, ooh, the Hanging Gardens. Germany wants peace. Yes, I will take peace. They're working on the lifting tower, but do I want to just... Yeah, I just want to buy that and start the Hanging Gardens. So that's plus one arts, plus one culture, plus 20 food. That sounds great. That's our first wonder. Uh, yeah. Just leave you there. There's some barbarians over there. There's some sailing this way. Not much I can do about that. I wish I didn't have these city guards. I'm tempted to delete them and return to Pittsburgh. I'm so picky. I'm so picky. And this run has gone, like, so heinously poorly to me that I just... I'm not having a good time, and when I don't have a good time, I tend to not want to play a game. Normally, I would have already quit this run and, like, started a new one, but I don't want to do that to you guys, because that's, like, what I normally do, but... I'm trying not to do that with these recordings. Trying to consistently play all the way through a run, you know, to a completion point. Like, in Pirator Rome, we formed Scandia. That's a completion point. Uh, Old World, I never completed, so yeah, I did abandon that. Uh, Baldur's Gate, we abandoned. That's also true. And then there's Starfield, but like... I don't know, I felt like I was complaining more than I was playing, so I... I felt like I needed to stop. Okay, we've reformed the monarchy. And we can now focus on improving the peasantry and our stewardships, of oath of fealties, and a round table. We'll get all that done over time. We're still slowly working on the exploration stuff as well. Well, we'll just leave you there. Can you... Oh, FIBA. Okay, no damage. Yes, go. Take out that. Now we need to save up. Let's take the Chaos for a Social Wild card. I want to get one of these. Um, Let's go with Research Cost Decrease. Because we're behind. <laughs> Severely. Um, we need 125. Okay. We're going to go with the Explorer's Guild, I think, instead of Remote Camps. Because the Explorer's Guild will increase our knowledge per turn by one. <clears throat> there is still quite a bit of learning to do with this game. And there's barbarians over there. Uh, I think the whole neutrality thing is not working. 
We're going to push through, and even if that guard dies because they're meant for defense, not offense, I guess I don't care. Then we're going to come over here with the Explorer, we're going to land, and we're going to probably put the city on this tile. Unless there's a way of getting, like, one of my... Nah, I think it's too far away from Los Angeles. Way too far away. So I've discovered that uh, in another playthrough that these outposts can be annexed by, by your vassals. But what you have to do, and this is a little weird, is you have to integrate them. And then you have to have them um, absorb the outposts. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate here with Chicago. We're going to integrate it. Then we're going to use the culture to absorb outpost, and it'll allow us to grab the outpost. And then we can convert it back to a vassal. And that's how we can give it uh, these outposts that the pioneers can build. We'll do the same with Los Angeles in 11 turns. We'll convert it to a city. We'll absorb the outpost, and then we'll convert it back into a vassal. This will just give Chicago and Los Angeles a bit more territory. Don't you go after my fishing boats. Yeah, and the other mistake we made is double dipping into exploration here. I think that was a mistake. Like, there's a lot of mistakes I have made this run that I am realizing. Um, yeah. Go hold that point. Russia and Rome are at war. China and Rome. Germany and Rome. Yeah, I, I have a feeling the AI is mostly going for a domination victory. So I kind of need to beef up my defenses in Houston at least. And probably elsewhere. Yeah. Fresh, green, mountain, organic, dark roast. Mm. I drink far, far too much coffee, according to my doctor. I probably ought to listen. Where do we want to send those guys? We'll send those guys to Houston. Guard Houston. We'll get a fresh force going in Pittsburgh. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, we have maxed out our... Yeah, I still can't chop, bleh, chop down trees, so I have no way of expanding Pittsburgh's usable land. I could just get quarries and mines going for no reason in the hills. I could get more docks. Um... I mean, would it work the dock if I put one down? Yes. And that does get us more exploration XP, which we do need. So you don't want... One, two, three, four, five docks. So that's the plus nine. Um, let's find another spot. Get us the plus ten exploration XP per turn. There we go. Sink these boats. Now, you know, I've done more thinking, and I think I will do more Millennia, but I've got to practice. i got to do some more practice first before we really dive into this level of difficulty. Um, and I'm not, I'm not, you know, upset at admitting that. All of us have different learning curves, and with my autism, my learning curve is a bit steeper than most people's. I'm going to go with Finance to get more improvement points from Levy Workers. And, yeah. Let's see. Let's get two pikes. Germany's over there on their island. I'm over here on my island. Get these guys over to Houston. Get these guys 
heading over to Houston because it looks like there's barbs over there. So this will be two pikes, a city guard, crossbow, and then we'll do like a knight or a dragoon. More docks down, I guess. Ooh, the Colossus! Okay, Germany has declared hostilities. And I believe they can cross the water. So we're gonna queue up the Colossus next. That gives us production, culture, and warfare XP. That'll be handy. Sell these guys on over to Houston. And have these guys actually stay near the Germans. Russia and the Ottomans have ended their war. You now have access to stewardship or peasantry. Let's do peasantry for more pop growth, wealth, and improvement points from terrain. That'll allow our vassals to grow much quicker. So yeah, we're getting 48, 0 .68, 0 .68, 0 .63. And then we get 0.65 on their domain, okay. Los Angeles, we get more from their domain, okay, that's intriguing. Let's go ahead and just land, and we can walk on into Houston. Um, yeah, you know what, we'll just leave the fleet there. I think this is the direction the Germans will come from. Remote camps. Or Explorers Guild. Let's get Explorers Guild. We're gonna unqueue remote camps. And we'll do landmarks and legacies, and that'll finish exploration. Franklin is in Tennessee, unless that's a different Franklin. So we have Arlington, Virginia, Chicago, Illinois, Franklin, Tennessee, Boise, Idaho, Sacramento, California. Pittsburgh is in Pennsylvania, I think. Houston, Texas, Galveston, Texas, Los Angeles, California. I'm surprised I actually know all of those. I mean, I guess that could be a different Franklin. If it's a state capital, I don't know which one it is. That makes me think of Franklin, Tennessee, personally. But, like, Franklin, Tennessee is pretty small, so I'm not sure how it would... And again, so is Galveston, isn't it? Hmm. I guess size doesn't matter. Russia wants peace. We'll take that. Uh, use culture power. Okay, so here's, here's where we got to do the trick. We're going to integrate... We're going to go to culture. We're going to absorb outpost. That'll give us Albany, New York. Then we go into Los Angeles and we convert it back to a vassal. There you go. Weird little trick you got to do to give them outposts, but um, it works. I ain't complaining, I guess, too much since I found a way around it. This is going to be a bit shorter of an episode today. I'm only going to play for about 20 minutes. Uh, I have a thing I have to do here shortly, and I am recording much later in the day than I meant to. So I kind of, I've, I'll apologize for the shorter episode. Uh, okay, we need, do we have enough for a settler yet? No, we need 52. Alright, uh, Roman and Russia have ended their war. Okay. Region Idol. Yeah, let's get the Explorer's Guild for that plus one knowledge. That'll bring us to 12.3 per turn. Which is, I feel like, still really bad. There's no way of looking at what the AI is producing. So, yeah. Zulu and Russia are at war. 
I guess we could also get some more logging camps. There we go. And we could get more docks, I guess. Hold on. Oh, because it's taking workers away from the trash heaps. I don't want that. Hold on. Lock that in place. We still have enough workers for the stuff I built. We're going to take away from the poorhouse. Put it in the docks because I want the XP. Yeah, I guess we'll just produce a ton of wood. We can just export it. Um, if we have no exports yet. Because I have no way of sailing across the ocean yet. Because I haven't researched those techs. Because I'm trying not to be behind. Um. Well. Yeah. I'm really worried by the factor that they can sail across the sea and I can't. That's. Fast internal improvement points income. That will allow them to expand even quicker. checks is that that is the three we need to get to the agent of enlightenment yeah we would need navigation to be able to cross the uh, deep water but I need to catch up so into the age of enlightenment we go look at the warehouses now I'm going to get the Grand Theater for the uh, Arts XP, and then we should probably start, like, building an army to defend ourselves with. Or another navy. More navy might be nice. Yeah, more navy does sound nice. Okay. All right. A couple more turns. A couple more turns. Uh, China has been eliminated. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh my. Oh no. <laughs> well. Could have created a town here. Could have created a town there. Los Angeles can support one more town, right? I'd rather put one right here. Do that. We'll do that. Portland, Oregon. Okay, that's actually kind of close to Los Angeles. Sort of. Unlike Albany, New York. Um, let's get barracks so we can train better troops. And then I think we'll get some NARS going because those can uh, enter the ocean. We'll get a fleet of NARS built and start exploring the world a bit more. Okay, the Ottomans have threatened us. They are jealous of our fish and our shells, I imagine, and I wish they wouldn't be. I don't even know where you are. No idea. And, like, you totally outclassed me, so, like, why are you even bullying me? Russia and Zulu have ended their war. Uh, yeah. Region idle. Okay, so before we do this, let's assign this as our naval rally point. And let's get two NARS. We'll send them that way. Then we'll get two NARS on the other coast and send them in the other direction. And yeah, we'll start exploring. Okay, there we go. Is that us? No, that's the Ottomans getting into another age already? No! 
Oh, come on! God damn it! Jesus! Why? Why? Stop punching me like that! I'm already down! Yo! Not nice! Low blow! Okay, so this difficulty is not meant for Wumpus. And on that note, I am going to end this episode here uh, as we get further and further behind. And yeah. Um, I'm kind of disheartened at this point. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to keep going with this series, even though we're obviously going to lose. Uh, or if you want me to start over on a lower difficulty with different map settings and try again. Uh, I, we, we got, I, I kind of feel like starting over and trying again. That kind of feels like defeatism, even though it's kind of obvious that defeat is, is here. Defeat is certain. I hate to say that, but it is. Anyways, let me know down in the comments what you think, if we should keep going or not. I think for the rest of the week, I'm going to switch to a different series. Probably Crusader Kings. Um, we'll do an episode or two of that to get it started tomorrow and Friday. And then next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll pick back up with Millennia some more. Uh, I know I said I didn't want to do two series at once uh, <laughs> last episode. Uh, but, you know, I'm not very good at staying on track for myself anyways that's that's enough of me rambling i will see you guys all in the next episode take care don't forget to like and subscribe i will see all of you next time Bye bye